Alice nice. That wasn't the word they used. Melinda Alice was clever and witty. Melinda Alice was clever and cruel. Cool. Honey, Melinda is dissecting a squirrel again in the basement. Do you think she'll ever grow out of this while I always have to clean up after her mess? Well, she's pretty, she's nice, she gets good grades, her teacher's like her. So what if she doesn't get, uh, oh, so what if she doesn't clean up, af up after her experience? She's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Melinda Alice not only took small animals apart, she took small people apart, too. Oh, no. The new girl in school did not stand a chance against Melinda Alice. Hey, everybody, look at her. It is, it's the new girl. Hey, it, I mean, like, where did she come from? Ew! She touched this! Ew! Ew! <laughs> there was a surprising thing about Melinda Alice. Her power. No one trusted her, but no one avoided her either. She was always included, always in the middle. But behind her back, her friends did not call her Melinda Alice. Ew, there, there goes Melinda Malice. Hey, Melinda Matt! I mean, Alice, wait up! Hey, yeah! Hey, wait up! Wow, there goes the natural leader. Now, Melinda Alice did get good grades. She went on to school early to study, but one day, when she found out she hadn't studied for a math test, she didn't see the slug she was about to step on. <laughs> Don't! What? Don't, if you don't, I'll, I'll give you three wishes. Get real. Try it. Well, my dad won't let me get ears, golden pe ears pierced. So I wish for golden ears pierced. Hey, look at that. That's nice. What else would my dad want? How about a cherry Ferrari? And there it was, a cherry red Ferrari sitting right there on the curb. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, and for my next wish, I wish all my thousand wishes to come true. So she rode away. She forgot about all about school, the math test, and she drove away on thinking about all the endless <coughs> possibilities of things that she could wish for. Oh no, I forgot my school. I'm going to be late. Oh, good. 
good to eat. With little hair uh, did not come home the, that night, his grandma became very worried. My granddaughter comes home every night. He went with you on all of the earth. My granddaughter has been killed. When Morty came, Grandma went out to look for Lily. She ran all over the earth looking for her. Then she heard the sound of flying at a Pally's club, and yes, singing his song. Oh, I love to throw and kill. Oh, I love to throw and kill. I take pictures and throw them at Lily. Do not do that, sister. Oh, old lady, I did not see you. What do you want? My granddaughter has been killed. I'm afraid she came over and bothered you um, yesterday, and you killed her. Was it a big one or a little one? A little one. Oh, yesterday, I think I did. Yesterday, I tumbled on something in the swamp, and I killed it, and I threw it away in the swamp. Baby went down to the swamp. There was little hair flattened out and dead. Granddaughter, you have slept too long. It's time to wake up. Sleeping so well. You were not sleeping. You have been. You were killed by the one that walked around the hill. I was I killed. Yes. Oh. Well, I went home with his grandmother, and he ate, and he ate, and ate. Oh, the next morning, so he set out to find the big old one. He ran all over the earth until. He ate it. He ran all around over the earth until he came to the end of the earth. There was the tall pine trees. <laughs> pine trees grew. Their hair went to the tallest of the, all the pine. He ran around the tree four times. Oh, great pine tree, will you give me a branch so that I can get rid of the big one that walks around the hills and kills animals? Lillard grabbed hold of the pipe, great pipe, as he, as soon as he did so, Lillard began to grow, and grow, and grow, and grow, until he was the same height as a great pine tree, and he pulled the big pine tree easily by its roots. Now! <laughs> oh, I love to throw and kill, oh, I love to throw and kill, I take peaches and throw them all you shall no longer kill the animals of the earth. No longer will. And with that, Will Hare lifted the green pine tree and struck the monster. His bow was so strong that it broke like it into many pieces. Each piece became a weak ant and flew away. Lillard set the green pine tree. The end! <laughs>